All right, David Harry again, and this is the second in a very quick succession of videos to do with the Galaxy S10 and external microphones, but in particular, lavalier microphones. So right now, am I, am I touching it probably? <laughs> Well, that sounded rude. So this is the second lav one that I'm gonna do, and the second and final one, because there's only so many lavaliers you can go through with the smartphone. But this one is the Purple Panda lavalier. What it is, the other day, or yesterday, I probably would have put it up the video to do with the Clippy EM172. This is just another alternative one, and this is the Purple Panda. So yes, this video will show you all about how the Purple Panda, or let you hear how the Purple Panda works with the Galaxy S10 range of smartphones. Once again, it's an Omni uh, lavalier, which means it's gonna pick up stuff all around it. So right now, what we are hearing is how well this is gonna pick up my voice in a typical living room, which has kind of got like, it's a bit echoey, a bit reverby. It's basically got its own acoustic characteristics, which don't really lend themselves very well to trying to record your voice in these types of environments. So this is gonna give us a proper, really good idea as to how this sounds. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go outdoors and I'm gonna kind of try some stuff outdoors as well. And we'll get an idea of exactly how this purple panda sounds outdoors. So to the outdoors. So what I'm gonna do here, just whilst I'm outdoors, I'm gonna kinda of do a couple of quick little tests. So the first one is what I'm doing right now, which is like trying to vlog or record my voice right by a very busy main road. Now also bear in mind here, there's a bit of a breeze going on. Now the Purple Panda does come with a dead cat, but really I, I would probably only wanna use one of them when it's very windy, which it isn't right now, so hopefully this foam filter that comes with it is actually dealing with this breeze okay. But like I say, this is kind of more to give us an idea of how my voice is being picked up against all this traffic. Because don't forget, this particular lavalier is an omnidirectional one, which means is that it picks up that you know noises from every single direction. But hopefully, because my voice is the loudest sound source to the microphone, it's picking me up appreciably more than what it's picking up the traffic. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the park into less kind of troublesome environments and try something there. All right, so what it is, I'm in the park now, so I'm away from all that traffic. So that's one thing I don't have to compete with. Um, it's not overly breezy, um, so I don't think I'll be getting any wind distortion either, which is also a good thing. So basically, yeah, this is just another kind of environment to have a check and to listen to how the Purple Panda is performing. Um, because being by busy roads and stuff, it is important to do them tests because, you know, there will be times when you go, oh, squirrel! <laughs> sorry, there's a squirrel over there. <laughs> if there is times when, uh, so that was me impersonation, is it dugging up, is it, the dog? Squirrel! And it wasn't, a, it wasn't a very good impersonation either. <laughs> uh, right, what it is, sometimes you've got absolutely no option but to be by like, you know, mad noises or busy roads and stuff or wind and things like that. So that's the reason for doing that stuff by the main road, just so that we know how it's gonna sound in kind of like worst case scenarios. And right now, although we can probably still hear a bit of traffic, we're kind of shielded by the trees in the park. And obviously there's no, well, there isn't really a breeze either where I am right now. But just in case there was a bit of breezes that I wasn't aware of that the microphone may have been picking up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home to my little favourite spec in the uh, on a park bench and uh, just do a little bit there as well. So to the nice tranquil surroundings of the bench park. Yes, anyway, uh, I'm just in this nice little area in the park that I visit. What well, it is, I come here all the time actually for doing like microphone and camera testing. You probably see this place a lot on uh, any of my test videos and stuff. But uh, yeah, this particular little spot here is awesome. It's, uh, it's always like dead pleasant and nice. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, it's, uh, it's always a nice place to come. And all, always as well, there's some kind of wildlife here and whatnot. So there tends to be a lot of like noises from birds and things and just nature getting on doing its thing. Um, yeah, it's really nice, but Right now, I, I'm digressing somewhat here. <laughs> um, right now, this is actually a test to see how the microphone responds in a nice kind of 
calm environment outdoors. Because the thing is, you know, you, you, you go outdoors and you're subject to things like wind and tons of noise with lavaliers or any microphone, really. But, you know, it's always nice to get a good example of a microphone unimpeded being able to do its thing while nature does its thing. Anyways, I think this will conclude the outdoor testing now. So back indoors, I'll have a quick listen and then I'll do a summary. Okay, I've had a quick listen to it and whatnot, and I'm really happy with it. I think it sounds great. Basically, we're talking about matching up just a very convenient lavalier microphone here with a smartphone. We can't be expecting, you know, kind of like the world's best recordings and whatnot when we do these type of things. But I would say that is very, very good, or it is very, very good what I've just heard. Now, the other thing as well to bear in mind, just as I did with the previous video with the Clippy EM172 lavalier, um, I didn't raise anything in post. But So when I'm been doing this editing, all them levels are exactly as they are, the way it was recorded. So what it is, I didn't even try to balance the takes between each other. So maybe one of them sounded louder than another, quite possibly when I was by the road, because like I'd have been like talking louder because of the traffic. But what it is, I decided not to like rebalance anything. So not only have I not rebalanced, I haven't added any tone, like any treble and bass, none of that, and no dynamics like limiting or compression. So what you have heard all the way through this video, in fact, exactly the same as what I've done with the Primo EM172 by Mic Booster, I haven't touched anything, so you've heard all this exactly as it's all being recorded. So this should give you an extremely good idea as to how these things truly do sound without people trying to sweeten them in the edit. Anyways, yes, I will kind of like carry on and ramble if I don't shut me trap right now. So what it is, if you've liked this video, check the, the, the descriptions below. Also, there may be pop-ups somewhere along the way here as well, pointing to other similar videos to do with microphones with the S10 range. And also, there's a playlist that I've got for all that, so check that out. Also, there'll be links there as well to a bunch of things to do with the S10s where you can buy like the various peripherals and mics that have been using on Amazon and such. And also, if you've liked this video, please consider giving it a big massive thumbs up. Um, and yeah, and I know some people go like, oh yeah, and if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Well, I'm sorry, no. Do not give it a thumbs down. I'm not one of them people who say, yeah, if you don't like it, thumbs down. If you don't like it, just don't do nothing about it, you know. But anyway, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Click that bell notification icon thing. Share the video. Leave comments. All the crazy stuff that you young kids do on YouTube with all these videos and such. And anyway, yeah, I think that's probably it now because I really do need to shut up. My name's been David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. And goodbye now.